It's a tragic case that has shed light on dating violence, especially in younger relationships. Today are images that have shaken our community. We One and a half million high school students nationwide experience physical abuse from a partner every year. This country government report out this week points to a serious problem among teenagers who date. One in five girls reported being in an abusive relationship twice the previous estimate. First on four, there's a growing trend of dating violence among teens. There's a new type that parents need to know about. My first relationship mm. in high school. First relationship um, really started when I was 15. I was in high school. I was 18 years old. My first relationship was at uh, 14 or 15. My feeling was great because there is another guy love me and like me. Every moment uh, school life, we would maintain our relationship. Test sent a message. After um, uh, ninth class, we were not together in one class, uh, so we would technically message each other. All the message was like about the, the love and everything. She tried to control me, manipulate me. We did argue a lot. Yes, I did slap her. So I was slapped for it. Last time, if you can see, um, there is uh, less of uh, teenagers involved with the, all those um, social issues. But today, every day, if you read to the newspaper, every day there is a teenager issue. Some of them tend to kill themselves because they are too stressful with their life. Sometimes parents um, and then the uh, guardians are not aware about their movement, about their study, about their everyday activity. So what happened that a lot of things can be happen among themselves. This is the time they have uh, changes in their age. Of many people's best friend, oh, they would abuse and not just abuse, but then like uh, unconsciously they, they would abuse you. My first breakup was in high school. First breakup was at 18. I actually love to argue about everything. Uh, my parents do know about her and her family, of course. Parents, um, they are actually trying to do the best for their children. They wanted their children to be someone in the future. They wanted their children to be success in the future. This is where um, the children get confused because they actually don't understand what the parents is going through right now. So even though we as a parents, we try to talk to them. Uh, remembering right, she was uh, sort of cry a little, of course that is girl's thing. So when I saw this message, uh, this message I like uh, I understand like she was sitting on me. I share with my parents about uh, our relationship. Sometimes I feel shy. Sharing my relationships with anyone. My father's relationship with me is not good. Why they did not 
speak to their children about their personal relationship is because they don't have trust. Um, it came also with the culture itself. If the parents is really open-minded and would like to understand what their children is going through, it actually will help them. I come from like a very typical family. Uh, uh, I don't know, in our culture, it's uh, sort of frowned upon to have relationships. I have gone through a teenage age last time. Mm, I think I start my relationship with a guy when I was age 12. <laughs> Um, it was a very good relationship actually, but a long distance relationship. Um, what happened is uh, he died in the accident, so that is where I started to feel frustrated. But because uh, during, I mean he died after when I was at the age of 18 years old, he died. So I can't take it actually at the first place. But I was being positive. I have to move on. Don't take it things so serious. Move on. There's good thing waiting for you in front. You never know about it. So if let's say you end up with an abuse relationship, you feel frustrated, you want to kill yourself. What did you gain from that? Nothing. You only hurt yourself. Not only that, you hurt your parents. They will cry for you. But those, the people who abuse you itself, Will they get anything? Will they feel regret? No, they won't. So why you want to to show to someone that you really love that person until you're willing to kill yourself? That's not a good thinking actually. I believe every kids, especially during their teenage age, during these uh, age changes, if they come back to the parents and they discuss with the parents about anything of their relationship, of the, about their feelings, about their hormone changes, I think that could be the best way to get the best suggestion to solve their problem. All those teenagers nowadays, they need to be close to the right person, which is actually their parents. Even though they have some issues with their parents nowadays, a lot of issues actually, I understand. They still have to try their, their best level to do it. Share with parents. Share with parents. Share with your parents. Share with parents. Share with parents. Share with parents. Share with your parents.